We're back with Jessica Biel, who's here to talk about her latest project, which is a children's book, a kid's book about periods. And it's yeah. not about punctuation. punctuation. <laughs> no, it's not. Such a good idea. It's not about punctuation. This is such a good so idea. It's, so it was, was it an uncomfortable topic in your house? Like, my mom swears she told us about our periods, but I believe she probably told us while we were in the crib. Right. <laughs> before right. there was a comprehension. <laughs> like she told us everything we needed to know about everything between the ages of six and nine months. Right, right. Age. I mean, I think we all kind of do that hoping it's just gonna assimilate somehow right. and right. then we don't have to worry anymore. I, I asked my mother this question because I don't tangibly remember the mm. conversation. Right. And she said, yes, I absolutely prepared you for this. I said, you did? I don't remember it at all. You blocked it from your memory. I, must, I think I probably was like every kid, so embarrassed that right. she was even talking about these things. Oh my gosh, you right. know? I, I just I remember the feeling of like deep humiliation and embarrassment when anybody was talking about this kind okay, of thing. Okay, so knowing that now you're an author, you're writing this book. What is your approach so that it doesn't have that? Oh my God, no, right. ew. So. My approach and my team's approach when we were writing this is just straightforward, uh -huh. fun, make it kind of fun, and kind of share, that the, uh, share the fact that it's a, it's a powerful thing that's happening to your body, uh -huh. and it's cool, actually, and it should be normalized. This is something that happens to 50% plus of our population. Right. And right. I, I, I'm hoping to remove the, the shame or you know, that feeling of being embarrassed, like I felt, and even still now, as a grown-up, hiding, you know, tampons in my sleeve and scurrying off to the bathroom like I'm, you know, somebody doing something weird. I mean, that's this is a normal thing. Like, I, I, that's the hope from this book, is to be a tool for parents and And it's not and for just people. for girls, it's for no. boys, too. Yeah. yeah. Do you share your own story in the book? I do. I do share my story. Do you want me to share it now? No. no. <laughs> yes, Rihanna. <laughs> I'd be happy to share. No, it's a. I think it's a really common story. I was about 11, I believe, and I was getting ready for school, and I was in the bathroom, and it happened, and I freaked out. I mean, right. I just thought this is the end. I had a good run, but right. this is the end. <laughs> like I just, was, I didn't know. I, even right. even being informed about it. It's still traumatizing. It, it traumatized. It shocked yeah. me. I think I was shocked. Yeah. And my mom helped me and got me settled and got me off to school. But I was in a play that day at school. Oh boy. I was playing one of the lead characters, and I just thought, what am I gonna do? Yeah. This is this is a nightmare. And I actually I did it. I I I did my play and I was okay and I <laughs> survived. And um, I don't know. I think part of the book is like you can do anything and everything right. when you are on your period and right. hopefully. People who are not experiencing their period will read this book, understand what it is, and help you and support you if you have an accident or need help or right. you need products or something. And I think I just want to get rid of all that icky feeling around it because it's just normal. Yep. yep. Um, it's a great tool to open the conversation. Really Make sure you pick up a kid's book about periods. It's available everywhere books are sold.